Today we're doing something we've been wanting to do for quite some time, pretty much ever since we moved to Hollywood, and that's take the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Out of all the studio tours that you can take here in Los Angeles, the Warner Brothers Studios Tours seems to be the most popular, and today we're doing the VIP Tour. Now this neighborhood might look familiar, especially if you know the movie Monster Squad. Lost Boys was filmed here. Annabelle Creation. This place is insane. There's the front of the church from Lost Boys, where the Frog Brothers went in for the holy water. That's cool. I want to go inside so bad, but there's nothing in there. Um, so right here, if you look to your left, it's going to be the Fuller House home. Oh yeah. Again, just the facade. The only reason we have it here on the lot is um, just for promotional purposes. They didn't want to fly the actors all the way to San Francisco. So they just went ahead and built the set here so they can just take those pictures to promote the show. This used to be Chicago. Chicago. And I say it used to because there used to be an L train. And now there's not. There is a school. <laughs> They're actually building this facade right now oh, wow. for a show called Abbott Elementary. It is on Hulu. They just got renewed for their second season. So this is just the facade, right? The inside of the school is already built inside a soundstage. Oh, wow. Okay. So they're just going to use this to make it look like the school is located somewhere different. The building behind it is so old, it looks like. Yes, the building behind it, we can see it in Batman Returns. Ah! It's where Danny DeVito's penguin yes. discovers his real identity. I was like, why does this look so familiar? Oh. Yeah, but as you can see, they're covering it up with that school right now. So oh. you can't really see it. I'm as dying said, here. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, this used to be Chicago. It's now Abbott Elementary. Right now we're walking over to New York. This is cool to see all this stuff. But right around this wall. You would never know that this was here. Oh my word. So how crazy is this? That's the orphanage from the 80s movie Annie. And then over here was Jim Carrey's apartment from the movie The Mask. Right next to each other. Mind blown. Look, Ma! I'm Roadkill! Look at that. You couldn't even tell that you're like 10 minutes away from Hollywood. Are ready to have your mind blown? This building right here, right inside this door, this was Central Perk from the, from the TV show Friends. But ready for this? The pet store scene from Pee Wee's Big Adventure where Paul Rubens comes out carrying the snakes that he was absolutely terrified. It's the same building from Friends and Pee Wee. What? Remember the movie Gremlins? This staircase? This is the one that would go down into the shop where you can get gizmo. It all started here in Chinatown. I was hitting the shops trying to move a little merchandise, maybe find a present for my kid. Hey, wait a minute. What's down here? This is it. 
This is your grandfather's store? Yeah. Come on. No wonder you got to drag people in off the street. That's cool. I have to walk down it. You got to, right? This is like a childhood dream come true. I'm being careful because this is like holy ground. Like, be careful. Open that door. I, I want to see what's behind it too. Open the door? Oh, I think it's locked actually. Here. It's got a little, yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. bolted. Well, it's nailed shut. What's inside the, through the glass? Is it just the wall? The spider just. Oh, there's something in there. Well, there's something in there? There's something in there? Yeah, well, I mean, you can't really like see. Yeah, but like it goes back a little bit. There's not just a wall. There's like a room, mm. which is kind of neat. Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, they do. Sometimes they so close. I've been wanting to do this ever since I was a little kid. To just stand here and you know, watching the movies, you always think that these things are real, like the store is real, but it's not. It's Hollywood movie magic. This is it. Oh, you jealous? I'm jealous, and I'm here. <laughs> I hear some more movie magic. Right there is Texas from Young Sheldon, right next to what was used as the casino for Ocean's 13. Now the guide was just telling us that in one of the scenes from the movie, they land the helicopter on the roof. But if you look up there through one of those windows right there, you can see the sky, there's no ceiling. So what they did was they landed the helicopter right over here in the grass and then green screened everything and put it up there. Pretty wild, right? In case you haven't guessed, I'm obsessed with movie magic. Like, this tour is phenomenal. We've seen in the 1950s House of Wax. This is going to be the first film that implemented stereophonic sound, color, and 3D. Oh, Goosebumps! Awesome. Yes, yes, correct. Someone with a bag of popcorn. Close your mouth. It's the bag I'm aiming at. Not your tonsils. Here she comes. Well, look at that. It's in the bag. Um, right here in the courthouse, it is going to be a practical. Um, but if you pull up in front of it, it has the look of a facade because they built a wall right in front. This is going to be where the original Batman TV show, where they have Batman and Robin running up and down these court steps. Um, back then, it was actually considered a stunt to be running up and down steps, so they had stunt doubles to do those scenes. They did not want them to injure themselves. Clint Eastwood is known to store his costumes as well as props inside this location. Say what? It was also used as a dance studio uh, by Debbie Reynolds. See? There's going to be plaques to some of these stages. Um, that's just to signify that certain shots were done in there. Not the whole series films, except for Big Bang Theory. That was a very successful show, so it's earned itself its own plaque. Um, as well as Stage 24 is going to be the famous Friends stage, because they did film their season 2 to 10. And again, it was a very successful show, so again, they that's got the one up here on the right. ahead and earned a plaque. It's going to be down here on the right. Very, very cool. Stage 19 is currently home to Young Sheldon. They are currently back in production, so they will be coming out with a newer season as well. Look at this. If you look at the top of these um, stages, you're going to notice there's a lot of lights. This is called a wigwag. <laughs> the purpose of the wigwag is just um, to let people know that production is currently filming, so you need to be as quiet as possible. Because the elephant doors over here to my left, they are not soundproof so they can still hear everything that goes on on the outside. Just the stage is covered in a material called Insequel that we'll get to see right now. To okay. get a better idea. Uh, but you're going to see some of these elephant doors open. Again, some are just currently building sets. And some are just not housing anything at the moment. So over here it says two and a half men. Two and a half men. You can see they also did some scenes from Gremlins on this stage. Oh gosh, right? As well as Annabelle Creation. Twilight Zone, the movie, Gremlins. Just show you what scenes they got done in there. Man. That's so fun. I love that they dedicated like that. There's not many places that, that put plaques up to document history. Right? Especially so here in LA. Here. Yes. Um, so you know how we saw that school on the outside over there in Chicago? Yes. Well, it used to be Chicago. So stage 22 is going to be the inside of the school. 
Okay. So if you look on the side over here to the right at the back, that's going to be the printed out picture of the school we saw over there in Chicago. Ah, that's neat. That's yes. neat. And this is again for Abbott Elementary. And right here, they're just setting up their base camp and they're going to be back in productions pretty soon, like about maybe in the next few weeks, I'm assuming. I could spend all day just walking from stage to stage <laughs> reading the plaques. Like, that's amazing to me. Yeah, they have all these plaques just located on the side. Um, there's 31 sound stages here on the lot. What's the biggest? The biggest one is going to be 16. 16? Um, that's the tallest one here in um, North, North America, actually. Okay. Um, they're doing some construction around it, so I unfortunately can't loop around. Fair enough. Uh, there's something else I wanted to mention to you. So this is stage 28. Yeah, this is stage 28. What does it say? You can also see your flag. It says Maverick, Lucifer, the West Wing, Sisters. Lethal Weapon for The Witches of Eastwick. What? Lucifer! Yay! <laughs> There's a show like Lucifer. called Winning Time. Um, and they're actually using eight of these sound stages right now. Wow. Yeah, so that's a lot of stages for one show. We've now begun the self-guided tour of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And again, they have some screen used costumes. Here's from Mortal Kombat 2021. We've got Sub Zero and Scorpion. Some costumes from Kung Fu. And then there's two more before we go to the next room. We've got Sophie's costume from Moonshot. And then check this one over here from the movie Inception. Pretty wild. This place is just beyond beautiful and very peaceful. Like I am seriously relaxed just walking through, taking a look at screen used props and costumes and all kinds of different things that you can check out. It's kind of interactive, kind of not, but I dig it. The first thing we're going to look at is the Batman cowl from Batman Returns. 1992, worn by Michael Keaton. Now there's something very interesting about this one. You see it? One of his bat ears is bent. I dig it. Also over here in the corner are costumes designed by Colleen Atwood from Tim Burton's Mars Attacks. Like that dress was actually worn by Lisa Marie as the Martian girl. Look at that. Oh, I want it so bad. Look at these little guys down here. Right? No, I wasn't expecting this, but they have the costume worn by Jennifer Lopez in the movie Selena. Now, if you didn't watch it, one of our recent videos, we went down to Corpus Christi and visited the real Selena locations. Man, that's neat. We actually saw the real jumpsuit. That one's from the movie. Now, if you know crazy rich Asians, then you're gonna know this wedding dress. Man, that is something else. In fact, this whole corner of this room is dedicated to the show. Different costumes that were worn. The setup is beautiful. We're not big fans of the TV show Friends, but it is pretty iconic. And they have this really cool photo opportunity here. So we gotta do it. This is pretty cool. It is, isn't it? <laughs> right? Thank you. Yeah, of course. Now before we move on, here's a shot. Look at this. Man, that's cool. Talk about the detail, right? This place has really gone above and beyond. They got a whole wing here dedicated to the movie My Fair Lady 1964. Now we turn the corner and Jessica pretty much lost her mind. Because just look at this. See, there's something here for everyone. It may not be your cup of tea, but there is definitely something here for everyone. And it just goes on and on and on. It's kind of creepy though, right? Like these faceless people. 
They even have gangster films represented. And dresses worn by leading ladies. Let's start from the left. We got Elizabeth Taylor, the black one. We got Joan Crawford, the one right here in the middle, Betty Davis. And then down here on the end, Lauren Bacall. Oh my gosh, Olivia de Halavant. I think I'm saying that correctly. Jessica, if I were you, I'd be careful. You're sitting in Sheldon's seat. This is pretty awesome, right? <laughs> Perfectly formed, that's right. This is freaking downright awesome. And just walking through the set, how you stand, you hide the lights and everything. You can actually feel like you're part of the TV show. So that's their house. Right? And right across from the photo experience of the guy's apartment, they have where they worked. You know what, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wanna dress like Howard. I've always wanted to dress like Howard. Look at him with his Nintendo belt. Man, this is cool. And then you got Amy over here as well. Man, I love this. What a great show display case with a miniature Batmobile from Batman Forever. Right next to a miniature from Batman Returns. Now we're not going to show everything. We're just going to show a few of the, I don't know, the things that we really like, I guess. You got to come here to see it all. Now if you've seen Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, you may remember a famous first perspective shot. They actually have it set up here so you can actually do a photo just like it where pretty much two people sitting across from each other one's bigger one's smaller but it's all about the camera angle and where everything is placed can you pick up the pipe everything's everything is bolted down but this is still really cool you can pick that up. that's not bolted down can you pick up the ring my precious nope of course that one's gonna be bolted down still pretty neat so I always have a, tiny mug. a tiny mug and whoever's back there would have a big mug Right? And then from right here, pretty cool. Now, like we've said, we're not fans of the TV show Friends, but they do have the iconic couch here next to the fountain where you can come and get your photo taken. It's a beautiful day for it. Every day is beautiful here in California. Well, unless it rains. I find it funny saying that because honestly, it rarely rains here. I don't remember the last time it rained in California. It's been a while. Now on for the final part of our tour. They have the Batmobile in here. They got Harry Potter costumes, screen used stuff, the things that we all absolutely love. Everything's lit pretty darn well. Oh man. Very first thing. Got some old freaking comics here. Look at this. Continuing into the room, we got the Riddler costume from the new The Batman, as well as the Oz costume. Arkham Asylum Gates. Then right over here, look, oh man, this is amazing. The Joker costume from The Dark Knight, as well as Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. This is nuts. Can you imagine wearing that? Oh, I love it. In order to see the gate properly, you have to stand back on the other side of the room. Look at that. See how it says Arkham Asylum at the very top? Baby, we need these gates to our house. Walking further into the exhibit, they have the Batmobile from the Batman, the latest movie. I want it. Right next to the Batmobile is the Batman costume worn by Robert Pattinson, as well as the Selena Kyle costume. And look how tiny she is. Now, Jessica, you're small, but Selena Kyle, right? Zoe Kravitz, she's tiny and she's wearing heels like Jessica was saying. 
Now they did say that you can't touch anything here. Basically, everything's really expensive, but you can touch Wonder Woman's lasso. Look at that. And if you position yourself just right, you got wings. And it lights up, the lasso lights up. You're beautiful. <laughs> you need one of those for the house. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the greatest movie, but they have Wonder Woman's golden armor from 1984. Now look closely. But does this photo look familiar? It's the actual photograph right here. We have Jason Momoa's screen used costume from Aquaman. Superman costume from Man of Steel. We got some more screen used costumes over here. Man, these are incredible. It's from the Justice League movie. Pretty wild, right? Oh, look at this. This is pretty freaking intense. I love that you can walk into these scenes. <laughs> now they were telling us that this trident that's right here in the middle, Jason Momoa actually took this to the premiere. And right over here, if you look very carefully, right here, there's a dent. He messed it up. <laughs> But it's, it, they were telling us, the guide was telling us that it's the only thing in here that a celebrity has touched that we're allowed to touch. Are you having fun? I'm trying to control the seas. Now, now tell me this. Yeah. The, the nerd kid in you right now. <laughs> right? That smile says a lot. Yeah. Stop. Let me nerd in peace. <laughs> Go for it. Just keep playing. Oh, she's having a blast. I like water. Water's cool. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm going to do a quick walk around the room and then I'm going to showcase everything. But if you love Batman, this is the place to be. Oh, for the love of Pete. Oh my God. My knees are shaking. All right, prepare yourselves. I'm gonna tell you right now, no matter how hard I try, there's not gonna be a, a good way to capture this. But they have the Batmobile from 1989, Tim Burton's Batman. I just wanna climb in the seat. This is beautiful. Well, let's get a little closer over here. See it from this side, look at that. That's beautiful. The Batwing from Batman vs. Superman, The Dawn of Justice. Right? You gotta have chills just looking at this, knowing that it exists and you can come and visit it. They even have the Bat Pod from The Dark Knight. <laughs> the sound effects is what really makes it. Man, this is cool. We got some gadgets and weaponry, that's what the sign says, from Batman vs. Superman, The Dawn of Justice. And then they also have the console and monitors from The Dark Knight Rises. As well as the weapons case with weapons and bat suit. I just want to reach out and touch it. I can't. Oh, the urge. I want to put it on. I want to wear the cowl. I want the belt, the gloves, I want it all. Growing up on Tim Burton's Batman and seeing the original Batmobile, I had no idea that this was even here. This no. by far is my favorite part of this tour. What do, like, what do you think? This whole superhero section, right? I just expected to see some cool costumes, maybe some props, but I did not expect to be in the Batcave. Right? That's a big deal. And there's still more. This is like oh, yeah. part of it. This, is, yeah, this isn't over yet. Different costumes from 
Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore. A lot of it is really cool, but this is what really gets me, right? Down here at the very bottom, right below Newt's actual screen used costume, is this. Newt Scamander's suitcase. If you know the movies, you know what's in this thing. Jessica's taking a potion making class. My freaking word, talking about theming, right? Let's go see what she's doing. Are you making anything good over here? Or shall I say making anything bad? Antidote to the common poison. <laughs> Whether you'll live is a different story. Oh, so you touch everything. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a little spell book. Yes, and then this is unicorn horn. You, all right, unicorn horn. Go ahead, touch it. Oh, it's got sounds and everything too. Touch the mistletoe berries, so then you touch the wand. Do it. Oh, look at that! Look at you, you witch. Say that. Look at, it's good. Because it didn't blow up in your face. It didn't blow up my face. I'm assuming I did it right. I think you did it right. There we go. So it turns out. We were creating poison. Yeah. And now we're making good potions. <laughs> there we go. See, we, we borrowed a wand and we did it correctly. Well, we had a good instructor. We had a good instructor, yes. There's nothing in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Your cunning is matched by few. Yes, no question here. You belong in Slithery! Ah, oh, you slimy slam snake. <laughs> it's fitting though. I knew it all along. Nothing in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Ah, shrewd and sharp. Slithery! They have thought of everything. They even have an herbology class here. Now, Jessica, you're over here messing around with stuff. Do you have your earmuffs with you? I don't have any earmuffs. No? Be safe. Because I know what happened. I've seen the movies. I've read the books. We all know Nello. <laughs> so, go ahead. Ready? Yes. Ready? Make sure you have a firm grip. Oh, that's awesome. And they even have the cupboard under the stairs. Look at that. Let's go in after Jessica. See? Good things happen to people who sleep under stairs. Well, except for the movie People Under the Stairs. That's a whole different type of movie here. I bet you never thought that I would mix Harry Potter and people under the stairs in the same freaking sentence. <laughs> but it happens when you're a horror fan. They even have the magical storm it's of letters. <laughs> I love that smile on your face. I'm not gonna lie. You look amazing. I got my accepted letter to Hogwarts. I'm very excited. I'm so sorry, I cannot do accents. Please You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> they even have a photo opportunity here where you can actually come out of Newt's suitcase, like one of his creatures. <laughs> Is there a staircase back there? And away she goes. I can still see your hat. <laughs> still see your fingers. <laughs> now, if you're a fan of the movie Casablanca, here's Ingrid Bergman's costume from the movie. 1942. That's impressive. But wait, there's more. 
on the other side of the case is Humphrey Bogart's suit from the movie Casablanca. Right? Man, that's cool. But of course, I think my favorite thing here is the crucifix from the movie The Exorcist. Just hiding up there above everybody as they walk by. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way.